Tech Air. In today's video, I really wanted to just take you guys on a walk with Chloe and I and go over a few things that we like to look out for when we schedule your meet and greet. Part of that is to meet you, of course, and the other part is to meet your pet and for us to go on the walk that you take them normally. We think it's really important to go on a, uh, the same walk um, and route that you do so we can take note of um, obstacles, other things that we may notice. Um, a walk is never just a walk, especially for a dog. So come on, let's go for a ride and we'll meet up uh, at the end. One of the things I wanna do is I just wanna point out some of the uh, things that you know we'll check on when we walk your dog. This is why we're so adamant on um, doing a, a trial walk with you after the meet and greet because um, you'd be surprised um, the pitfalls and the things that you have to kind of watch out for. Certainly things that we'll detail and make note of. So this is a pretty standard walk. Um, we're surrounded by woods on both sides. As you can see, I just park there. I go up one side, cross the street, go up and then come down the other and then we get back in the car. So pretty standard, but there are pitfalls and gotchas and watch out fors on all walks. So we've been doing this for a number of years, but I kind of know where she's gonna go, when she's gonna go. So obviously you have to watch out for traffic since this is a uh, residential street, but she's gonna pretty much walk up to the corner here and then we'll turn around and I'll make some notes of things that I like to watch out for while we're walking. Certainly number, the, number one thing is just, you know, crevices and holes in the ground. Um, you may not see them, but you sort of want to look ahead and just sort of be sure. It's real easy for dogs to turn their ankles in a pothole or a crevice. There's one up here that I saw. It's not so bad anymore, but we avoid it. And I think she sees it too. Here it is right here. So just something as little as that. If you step down in there the wrong way, she could turn her ankle. So I know she's gonna turn right here to go across the street. And again, I mentioned that pothole. You have to be careful there. Now we're on the other side and we're walking up. Again, woods on one side, woods on both sides actually. Now I have her on a long leash because I know what to expect and what she's gonna do. Um, every walk is different. Some folks want them to be on a long leash. Others have smaller leashes. You know, some folks are in the city. Some are in more urban areas. It just really depends. Some folks, obviously I don't take them out of the yard and they have fenced in yards. So it all just varies, but we're gonna obviously take caution, but we wanna pretty much take them on the same walk and keep their routine the same as you do. We don't wanna vary too much if we don't have to. Okay, we crossed the street and are on our way back down toward the car. Obviously, I had mentioned before, another big thing that you always wanna take a note of the best you can is the presence of broken glass and things like that. And I can't tell you through the years, there's been a number of times that um, I've run into broken glass, so you move it you know, the best you can. And obviously, you're not gonna necessarily ever see everything coming up. But if you're paying attention, you'll see most. Um, if you notice here on the other side here with the wood, sometimes she likes to get kind of deep. But when I can't see the ground anymore, I'm not gonna let her go down there because I don't know what's underneath the leaves. As long as the ground is visible, I can kind of see what's there, but I can't see once she gets lost in the weeds or the leaves. So something else that we'll certainly take into consideration while we're walking your pet. Most of it is just to keep your eyes open and stay attentive. You can't catch everything, but you'll catch a lot if you're paying attention. Keep your eye out for other 
dogs or animals that could come from any angle, honestly. Through the years, I've seen a handful of foxes. You know, they just sit there and stare. They don't do too much, but still, you want to notice them. Okay, that wraps it up for today. So those are just a couple of things that we wanted to uh, bring to your attention, let you know that we are watching out for your pet while we're walking them. Come on, Chloe, let's get in. Okay, well that was fun. I really, again, I want to thank everyone for coming on the walk with us today. Really, this was meant, folks, for you to get a sense that we really care about your pet and that we try to take um, note of the small things. You have to be extremely careful uh, when walking dogs. It's just too easy for them to twist an ankle, step on glass, and other things. You can't prevent everything, but some things you can by paying attention. You know, um, just a couple of stories, you know, you have folks that say, well, you know, I just want to, I just need you to take them out in the backyard, only to find out that the dog is a digger and their pet parent really didn't realize that they had been creating a way, you know, underneath the fence out over the, over a period of time. And it was just going to be um, not, not too long before they made their way out. So again, when we come over, if you have a fenced-in backyard, you ask us, hey, you just really have to go in the backyard and take them out. We're gonna look through the backyard. We're gonna look along the fence line and see what we see and make sure everything's okay. Trust us to take care of your dog, look out for the little things. So if we can be of service, please give us a call. Check us out at www.wagontailspetcare.com. Uh, this is Joe Reeves. Until next time, see ya.